bring in my panel now. LNP MP Keith Pitt, former Howard Government Minister Gary Hargraves. Gents, apologies from the outset. We've had a very compressed show with the Lerman matter uh, landing this morning. But let's start, Keith, on the embattled Snowy 2.0. Under fire, not just because it's over budget and, and way off schedule, but there are reported environmental breaches. These relate to the National Parks Association in New South Wales. It's shocking to read this. Oh, Peter, there are reported breaches and uh, they're for things like you know, dealing with overburden and potential of contaminated water and other losses. Uh, mate, this might surprise you. I'm actually going to cut them a bit of slack. Uh, yes, they have to meet the environmental management <laughs> plan. They have to meet all the regulations and all those things. But you can't build infrastructure and have zero impact on the environment, no matter what you do. <laughs> the only way you can have zero impact is to do nothing. They've got over 20 kilometres of underground tunnels. That will cause subsidence. They have to build transmission lines. Those easements need clearing and you've got to get access to put in transmission towers. Even when you're using helicopters, there will be some impact. So the idea that there's zero impact is just farcical, but they do have to meet the requirements of what they've signed up to. If it was more substantial than a $20 billion battery, I might give you your head on that one, Keith, but I just think uh, it's a boondoggle from the Turnbull <laughs> era and should be put to bed. Yeah. Hey, Gary, talk to me about Meta, more concerns uh, about Meta, uh, this thought that there might be a news ban if Labor does designate them as a, as a news media outlet in the bargaining code. Uh, there are concerns, of course, I regard them as a publisher. They say they're not. They're not a publisher in law in Australia. And so they get around all the rules at places like Sky News and and all the media print outlets have to abide by. Yeah, make them a publisher makes a lot of sense to me. And look, there are a lot of publishers today, right now, collecting news and information. You can buy it online, you can access it through paywalls. And people say, I don't want to pay through paywalls. Oh, spare me. There's a lot of people at work right now informing us. There's plenty of streaming video and audio available on all sorts of blog sites and, and, and other things. Some of them are bog sites. Look, Peter, let's face it, there are a lot of ways they're getting our news, but there are professional journos doing this day in, day out. They do have to be paid. The information you get comes from somewhere. Uh, Meta, Facebook, Instagram, they've all been enjoying the recirculation of that. Uh, and, and, of course, they've been making money out of somebody else's efforts. So it's time to put that to bed. I, I think it is reasonable. Uh, that people start to subscribe to stuff if they mm. want the information and to stay informed as a result. Keith, I'm told it's going to hit the way you, you talk to your constituents. Oh, we're told there's changes to the algorithms, Peter, and I can certainly see it on my own social media platforms. How, yeah. how else do you get information to people? The snail mail tends to fail. Yeah. It doesn't get there quickly or it doesn't get there at all. Uh, we've been using social media for some time now uh, to, to inform our constituents of what's going on and things that you know, I, I think they need to know. Uh, and mm. the reality is Meta has taken us all for a ride. They are using Australian produced exactly. news for their benefit and they should pay for it. Yeah. Just, just quickly, Keith, just quickly, uh, should there be divestiture rules in supermarket uh, pricing? Yes. It's the Nationals' policy, yes. It should be a policy we take the election, yes. Uh, Alan Fowles even backs it. I wish he backed it when we brought it up last time. That would have been very helpful. Divestiture is the right policy and we should All take right. it forward. I'll leave it there, gentlemen. Thank you for your company, as always.